so, uh, excuse me, excuse my voice, my voice is going in and out at the show, at the show the other day. Alright, uh, how, how many of y'all witnessed my Twitter rant today? Excuse my voice, y'all. I'm going to have to talk in a very light voice today. Because my voice is going out a little bit. And I, was, I wasn't going to get on, but I figured I had to talk to y'all. Because it's just kind of what I do. But, uh, yeah, so... A lot of people was kind of mad at, at me for, you know, saying that I don't fuck with black girls. And, uh, I'm going to be honest, uh, I don't. As y'all see, like, I don't have a black girlfriend. I'm married to someone who isn't black. And what's good, soldier? I'm married to someone who isn't black, and uh, I've been married to someone who isn't black for almost 13 years. And uh, one thing I can say is I don't I don't know how to say this without being offensive, but I can honestly say if I would have been with a black woman, I wouldn't be who I am today. I can honestly say that. If I was with a black woman, I wouldn't be who I am today. It's the truth. Because I grew up in Watts, California. Listen to what I'm telling y'all. I grew up in Watts, California, where black women were subconsciously trained not to talk to smart men. I grew up in Watts, California, where black women said that guys who read books are weirdos. I grew up in Watts, California, where girls said, oh, he a square. I grew up in an area where the black women looked at me like a fucking weirdo for wanting to get out of the hood. I grew up in an area where it wasn't good to be a smart black man. All the hood niggas and all the lost niggas got all the bitches. All. I'm hungry. All right. I'm hungry. 
All right. You know how many girls that I know got children by niggas that's in jail for life? You know how many girls I used to be in love with and had crushes on and got children by niggas who are either dead or in jail for life? I never not wanted a black woman. I always wanted a happy, strong black family. And that is something that I pushed for my entire life. I always wanted a strong, happy black family. And that's something I pushed for my whole entire life. It really sounds like I'm about to cry, but I'm not. My voice is just fucked up. I pushed for that. I used to sit in the house and tell girls my dreams. I remember one time I told my girl, I'm like, remind you, before I got with the girl I'm with now, I was engaged. I remember one time I told my girl, I said, I ain't going to church no more, man. I've been reading some stuff. And like, I don't think this church stuff is what we should be doing as black people. And this bitch looked at me like I was the devil. I remember trying to show my ex-girlfriend like about ancient Kemet and all that shit is she was telling me that it was devil worship. I remember trying to tell my girl, hey, you don't ever think about like doing nothing other than going to work like do you ever think about like what you talented at like do you even have talent like do you even care about like like do you care about seeing the rest of the world like are you like content with this lifestyle I used to be watching like National Geographic documentaries and stuff like Babe, come watch this shit with me. Oh, I'm not really into animals, like. But yeah, you spend hours watching Soul Food and Medea and fucking 702 videos and all the shit that fucking keep you. Look, what I'm saying is, I've had my flair. I've had my fair share of black women. And what sucks, what sucks now is a lot of black women are becoming conscious. You got to think, we're talking about early 2000s and early 90s. I ain't no young nigga. I'm 34. I'm not a young nigga. We're talking about early 90s and early 2000s. Well, late 90s and early 2000s. There was no such thing as a conscious bitch. We're talking about early 2000s and late 90s. There was no such thing as a conscious woman. It was a black conscious woman? Fuck no. Fuck no. You couldn't tell a black woman about Jesus not being real. You couldn't tell a black woman that you couldn't even tell a black woman that Jesus wasn't white. We talking about early 2000s, late 90s. You couldn't even tell a black woman Jesus is not white. You could 
could have showed a black woman the description. You could have been like, look, right here, it says skin and bra, hair wool, eyes like fire. Who is this guy on the picture? Oh. Bro. So what I'm trying to say is, there was a time in my life where I made a critical decision. I didn't get with a non-black person because I chose to get with a non-black person. I didn't go looking for my fucking girlfriend. She found me. I didn't go looking for her. I, I didn't want to talk to nobody. At the time I met her, there was a time in my life where I was like, fuck, fuck the world. The time when I met the girl that I've been with, I was like, fuck the whole world. I need to find myself. Fuck everything. Like, the whole world sleep. This was during my first wake up to consciousness and studying. And, like, when you know, when you're going to study and, like, you don't give a fuck about nobody. I'm like, fuck everybody. I got to find myself. I was finding myself. And in the midst of me finding myself, she found me. I didn't have nothing. I ain't have no job. I ain't have no plan. I ain't have nothing. I dropped out of school. No, I dropped out of school. I was done with school. I was over everything. I'm, I ain't got nothing. I was pretty much homeless. She found me. I told her my dream. I said, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to learn. This is what I'm studying. This is what I'm about. This is what I'm going to do in the future. She was behind me 100%. My girl had a house in Orange County. She had a big old nice house in Orange County. She chose to stay with me in Los Angeles and slept in the car with me for two years straight until we figured this shit out. Slept in the car. We were in the car for two years with a dog, a pit bull. I can't find one black bitch that would have fucking stuck with me, bro. I don't know what black bitches don't believe in dreams. Black bitches don't believe in your fucking dream. If you ain't got nothing right now, you ain't getting no fucking action. They don't believe in your fucking dream. They don't fuck about no dream. You better pay some bills today. Your dream ain't going to pay the bills. I had a dream. And she was willing to help me with my dream. She seen something in me that I ain't really fully understood. She knew I would be something. She had it. She seen it. And she supported it 100%. There's ups and downs on this road. I don't want y'all to think everything was absolutely perfect. But there's ups and downs on the road. But the simple fact is we here. But there's always going to be ups and downs because at the end of the day, you got to understand being with a non-black woman, there's always going to be complications because there's levels of consciousness. The first level of consciousness is finding out who you are, finding out your purpose. The next level of consciousness is you got black consciousness. You got regular consciousness, then you got black consciousness. Black consciousness is completely different. With black consciousness, you wake up, you go through all the levels, then you start to really understand how deeply fucked our people is. And once you start to really understand how deeply Why? fucked our people is, then you get on this epic mission to fix our fucking community and save our people. And that's where the complications kick in. That's where the problems come in, because you gotta understand, you already slept with the enemy. Now that's the thing. Rule number one, we can't ever think we didn't sleep with the enemy. We did. Not necessarily the enemy, but y'all know what I mean. We can't ever for once not think that we we didn't. We we did. You can't ever think you didn't. You did. 
And this is where those complications kick in. This is where all the complications kick in because you got, like I said, you got black consciousness. No, I'm not crying. I had a show the other day. My voice went out. My voice is going in and out. You got, you got regular consciousness and there's people who want to study and understand shit and you feel me? They want to say it's flat earth theory. I am flat earth theories and <clears throat> I, I'm making it right now. Flat earth theories. And, 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 you got the flat earth theories, you got, uh, 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 you know, you got people studying they self, you got people who want to study crystals, uh, you know, meditational crystals and chakras and all that. That's, a, that's other race consciousness, right? So you, like I said, you got two levels of consciousness. You got consciousness of people who want to like sage. You got people who want to eat healthy. You know all that bullshit. Eat healthy, like shades, and meditate and study your chakras and all that fucking that, shit. That's the, the conscious that you got. That conscious, and then you got black consciousness. Black consciousness is a different level of consciousness. There come to a point in your life to where you start to understand how deeply fucked we is. And you like, yo, everybody on the fucking planet is against us. It's literally blacks versus everybody. It is. I don't care. How, bro, everybody on the planet hate us, bro. Everybody, bro, when you of another race, if you are darker, you consider wrong. Even in my girl community, like in the Afghan community, if you a darker looking Afghan, they kind of, I ask, like, they kind of like push you to the side a little bit or you might be picked on amongst your people. Everybody work by, everybody who is not black Work by the lighter the better. Even in the Mexican community. When you're a darker Mexican, you might get called Mayate, Negrito. It's the truth, bro. Everybody. So when you on your level of consciousness, you start to wake up. And you start to really see how deeply fucked we are as a people. And when you get to a certain level, you go, okay, my mission is to fucking save my people. And at that moment, that is when your other half don't fully understand. Because they can't. It's not in their genetic DNA to understand that next level. It's not. They don't have the DNA to understand. They're not supposed to understand the next level of you trying to help the people. Right? Now, I can honestly say this. If I wasn't with my wife, I would be with a black chick. If I wasn't with my girl, I would be with a black chick. It's a lot of conscious black women in the world right now. If I wasn't with my girl, I would most definitely be with Erica Badu. If, if I wasn't with my girl, I would be with Erica Badu. She intrigues me. She knows some shit. She knows some shit shit. She knows some shit shit. She knows some other shit. This bitch cut her hair and her shit be back down her back tomorrow. She knows some other shit. I seen her with a bald head, Michael Jordan one day. The next day she had hair to the floor. She knows some shit. She knows some shit shit. She... Man, that's the type of 
with me. I'm like, bro. She knows some shit, shit. Erica knows some shit, shit. She like a witch. I'm ready to ride that bro. I'm ready to give what? Hop right on the back of the broomstick. Where, where we going? She knows some shit. She knows some shit, boy. Man, I'll be on her page every day scrolling down trying to see what type of sign she trying to give a nigga. Yo, she posted my video one day. Boy, I went to the bathroom and beat that meat so fast. Whoa. Bro, one day she posted. Wow. She posted first breath. I was like, oh my God. God, my oh. Bro. If I wasn't with my girl right now, I'll tell you my top three, top three black women that I would want to be with. Top three black women that I would want to be with if I wasn't in a relationship. Number one, Erica Badu. Number one. Right? Number two, Lauren Hill. Erica Badu, number one. Number two, Lauren Hill. Number three is Tide. Now my number three is Tide. Number three is Tide. It will be either Il Camille or Rap City. Number three is Ty. Number one, Erica Badu. Number two, Laura Hill. Ty to number three, Il Camille, Rap City. All of these women know some shit. They know some shit, shit. They know some shit. They know some shit. Look, this goes to all the black women in the world. And I'm going to say this loud and clear. I want to give y'all a round of applause because y'all have came a long way. Listen to me, it's black women in here. I want to give all the black women in here a round of applause because y'all have came a long way, bro. Y'all came a long way. If you really if you really study, no, listen listen to what I'm saying. If you really study what they have done to the black woman over thousands of years, there's been a when I say there's been a like a hundred like there's a twenty thousand year plan to really fuck over the black women. You fuck over the black women. You fucking they fucking have dysfunctional men. You take the queen. You fuck over the queen. This is why the queen is so important on the chessboard. If you fuck over the queen, it's game over. So if you fuck over the queens, you're going to most definitely fuck over all the fucking men. There's been an epic plot to destroy the black women. Cardi B did not win the Grammy because she's a good artist. This is an epic plot. Cardi B did not win the Grammys because she's a good artist. Nobody really like her. They just happy for her because she's a fucking Spanish chick. But this is an epic plot. There's been an epic, when I say epic, there's been an epic plan to destroy the mentality of the black female. 
We in an era where black females don't even want to be black. Bitches actually out here wearing blonde wigs. Right? Nipsey didn't win the Grammy because he promotes black excellence. And he is under nobody's umbrella. But bigger than that, I want to give my black females a round of applause because when you understand what society has done to dumb y'all down over hundreds of thousands of years, and yet somehow y'all still managed to fight through that and is now in 2018, my sisters are waking the fuck up. In 2018, my sisters are waking the fuck up, bro. I'm seeing, I'm seeing hella videos of black sisters like talking. This is what we need to do. I ain't doing this no more. I ain't doing this no more. I, yo, y'all waking the fuck up. I'm happy. It's almost as if y'all coming up out of the spell. And it's like right when I right right when I see y'all coming up out of the spell, right? Listen to me. Hold on, let me, let me, let me fucking put this shit in there quick. Hey, come to the table. Come to the table. Right? But it's like this, right? We in the era of a consciousness switch and people are waking the fuck up. And a lot of people are waking the fuck up. And what y'all need to understand is these higher up people know we're in the era of waking the fuck up. We're in the age of Aquarius, age of apocalypse, all this shit. They know we waking the fuck up, bro. They all know this. They read the mind calendar. They read the fucking astral calendars. They know it. This shit is like polar shifts. They read all that shit. And they know that we go through phases, waves, cosmic changes, all type of shit. They know this. They know this. So what they do, they know we going through one of the greatest. When I say we're going through one of the greatest consciousness shifts of the history of our people. And this is why they are pumping so many distractions. Y'all don't see it. The distractions is at an all-time high. Go ahead. The distractions are at an all-time high. It's only February, and we didn't have about 20 different distractions. Soldier Boy, R. Kelly, 6 9 uh, motherfucking the NBA All-Star Game, the Grammys, the Super Bowl, and all type of shit. We didn't had, we didn't had the most distractions known to mankind within the the beginning of the fucking year. Bro. What I'm saying is this. It's like, look at these forms of distractions. Like, let's take T.I. T.I. made a Floyd Mayweather this. T.I. Wait. Floyd Mayweather said, fuck y'all niggas, I'm rocking Gucci. T.I. made a Floyd Mayweather this. T.I. Why you going to diss Mayweather? You don't need to diss Mayweather. You need to diss Future. You need to diss Wayne Ross. You need to diss all of these niggas for making music that can consistently promote the image that destroy our people. 
You don't need to diss Mayweather. He not doing nothing wrong. You need to diss all the niggas that's telling our young kids to do stupid shit. You need a future diss. You need a future diss. You need a motherfucking Jeezy diss. You need a Gucci diss. You need a all. You need to diss all them niggas that's telling our people to do something wrong. You need to diss them niggas. You don't need a motherfucking Mayweather diss. Why would you diss Mayweather, bro? Barely can read. Of course he don't know what's going on. You need to diss your damn self, rubber band man. Nigga, you ain't made one conscious song yet. The fuck? Bruh, what I'm saying is this, bro. This shit is all the distractions. All form of distractions. All this shit is the distractions, bro. saying if you want to make a change as a celebrity as a mainstream celebrity if you really want to make a change you must turn your fucking back on all destroyers if you really want to make a change you must turn your back on all the niggas you be taking pictures with and hanging around with all day. You must say, fuck them niggas. You need to be wherever Lupe Fiasco is. You need to be wherever Immortal Tech 9 is. Immortal Tech. You need to be wherever Locksmith is. You need to be wherever K Rhino is. You need to be working with Joy Badass. You need to be working with all these niggas that's rapping about the shit that we need to hear. What the fuck you gonna diss Mayweather for? Bitch, you ain't never made a diss about a Rockefeller. You ain't never made a motherfucking Rockefeller diss. You ain't never made a motherfucking Rothschilds diss. You ain't never made a motherfucking... None of these higher up. You ain't never made a Leor Cohen diss. You ain't never made one of these disses to one of these niggas that's really destroying us. You need you dissing the wrong people, bro. Are you over it? You over it? You dissing the wrong people, bro. We dissing the wrong people. It's too many higher up niggas trying to kill us. You dissing the wrong people. Fuck Mayweather, he's a boxer. He ain't no motherfucking leader. You can't expect, he don't got a voice. You can't expect the boxer nigga to have a voice. They boxers. They don't spend their whole time talking to people. They spend their life boxing. You spend your life vocally talking to people. You supposed to be setting a better example for the world. Nigga, you in position. Your music touched thousands and millions of ears. What example are you setting? What have you ever said to the world? 
nothing. You want to diss somebody? Diss the Rothschilds. That's what you want to make a diss record? Diss the Rothschilds. You need a motherfucking nigga. You ain't even make a Gucci diss. How you diss Mayweather instead of Gucci? You should have made a Gucci diss. You should have made a new hit single by T.I. Fuck the Gucci store. Fuck the Gucci store. Fuck the Gucci store. Rubber band, man. Fuck the Gucci store. You should have made a fuck the Gucci store diss. What the fuck you diss Mayweather for? He gonna beat your ass. You don't want to fade. You said he dissing a nigga. Bet you don't want to fade. Mayweather gonna pull up on you ass. You throw the man gonna beat your little ass. You don't want to fade. If you talking all that reckless shit on camera. You don't want to fade. Bet you don't want to fade, Mayweather. You better stop playing. Y'all bought the same height, too. Y'all bought the same height. What you going to do when a nigga tell you get in the rink? Yeah, you going to be quiet. What you going to be wishing you had all them silencers you got caught with rocket launchers and all that? Yeah, all right. Bust down. Yeah, all right. Yeah, keep on dissing the nigga till he tell you square up. Yeah, alright. Anywho, let me get back to my baby, man. I love y'all. I'll get back to y'all in a minute.